Best of the Web is brought to you by MCI One. Life just got simpler. We have a mixed bag of sites to show you this week as we look at film, television, and outer space in our picks for the best of the web. Although you'll find the usual video clips, cast, and credit info, NBC's Homicide website, based on the popular TV show, contains more than just promotional items. This site also offers an original, interactive, and online narrative. Join detectives Johnson and Cutler as you try and solve some horrific homicides using Java-enhanced clues and real audio-based tips. That night, Linda was designated driver, so she just drank a little at the beginning. But if you'd rather investigate the science of outer space, then set your sights on the comet's tail. This site dishes out all the hard facts on these interplanetary ice balls. Learn exactly what comets are, what they're made of, and where they come from. Did a gigantic comet really wipe out the dinosaurs? With so much hype surrounding falling space debris, you might want to check this site out for the truth. And for a visit to the stars of the silver screen, we head over to the Film 100 website. Ranked in order from 1 to 100, check out the most influential people in the history of film. Find out why W.K. Laurie Dixon is ranked number one, Spielberg 82, and John Cassavetes number 100. Then email the website creators with your comments, suggestions, and gripes. For more Best of the Web, visit CNET.com. This week's feature also includes an e-zine for women and a site for teenage girls. Thank you very much. And Gina, I have in my hand a digital camera, an expensive one that cost about 8,000 simoleons, whereas Desmond Crisis is here from CNET Labs with an ordinary camcorder and the watchdog. Yeah, this doesn't quite cost 8,000 simoleons. Simoleons are harder to get than they used to be, but these are easy to find around the house, and now you can use this instead of a high-priced digital camera uh, to catch images for your web page. You might need that, or for some documents uh, that you want to build. Now there's some nice color printers. You can actually use this stuff. Hand me that camcorder. I'm going to plug it in here while I point out the web page here for uh, a company that has the newest innovation in this market. You might have heard of something called Snappy, which started about a year ago, this concept of something that plugs into the parallel port on your PC and into a camcorder and gives you video image capture. I'm going to try to capture some images of Missy here. Well, this is the latest. This is called the Grab It. It comes from Ames Lab, and uh, this is another way of pulling video off of your parallel port. But it's up the ante a bit because this one actually can handle S video. It'll take regular composite video if that's what you have. And this is a way of capturing digital images out of your camera. So here we go. Here's Missy the Watchdog on duty, looking tough. We're taking pictures of her. Whoa, she oh, is tough. So okay. here are six images of her looking tough, and I can decide which one that I really want and hit the pause button to kind of hold it. Let's see. This one, she looks pretty tough. Unfortunately, oh, there she goes. Action mode. Oh, I wish we had audio on here. <laughs> anyway, what's important about this is the fact that you get updated frames about once every one and a half seconds mm -hmm. that make it much easier to select just the That's frame right. you if want. If you only had a single frame, video running at about 30 frames a second, it would be real tough to grab the one you want. <laughs> now, Easy there, kill. Don't let her size fool her. <laughs> fool you. This is a killer. She's got big teeth. All right. How much is this puppy? Well, it's, uh, well, the puppy's not for sale, but the board is about $130 street price, and it's a whole lot cheaper than a digital camera. Once again, it's called Grab It, and if you want more information, just go to CNET.com. Desmond, thanks once again. Thank you. Let's see if we can get this you ferocious you look. George Lucas's software company, LucasArts, is probably best known for their games based on the Star Wars universe. And yes, that's a universe from a galaxy far, far away. Well, they've shifted gears and they're going back in time to create a brand new game from the wild, wild west. It's a classic tale, the good, no! the bad, and the ugly duking it out in the old west. Well, now this genre is being put to the test on your PC in a new game called Outlaws. I love you. Anna! Your wife's just been murdered, your daughter kidnapped. As gunslinging Marshal James Anderson, you must find the outlaws who committed these awful crimes. And, uh, I really wanted to do something that captured that spirit of walking down a town, and walking down Main Street and looking for guys up in the windows and shooting them just like you saw in the old Clint Eastwood movies. 
Darren Stinnett, the creator of Outlaws, says his inspiration for making the game partly came from director Sergio Leone and actor Clint Eastwood's romanticized view of the Old West. It was more about superheroes that could take guys out at 200 yards with their pistol. You know, that kind of thing didn't really happen, but it was a romantic look at it. It was how people wanted to believe that the Old West was. To produce the look and feel of Leone's movies, Stinnett called upon his team of designers to hand draw each character on paper and then on the PC. But we wanted to express their character and, and some of their personality in the way we drew these characters. And with strong characters and a good storyline, Stinnett hopes gamers will experience something a little different than just the average shoot 'em up. They want something where they think a little bit more. Um, to feel like uh, they're actually using their, their, you know, their mind instead of just being fast with the joystick. You afraid of dying? Outlaws on your store shelves now, but for a free demo version for your PC, go to www.download.com. All you have to do is find the uh, quick search feature on the front page. Enter the word Outlaws and you're there. And if you'd like to learn more about this game, Outlaws, or any game, here's a good tip. Go to CNETsGameCenter.com. They have constantly updated tips, tactics, hacks, and how-tos, and I might add cheats for some of the best games. Of course, our site is www.CNET.com, and it's one of the most popular sites on the web. You can use it to stay on top of everything in the world of computers, from reviews of the latest products to... Uh, tips to help you make the most of the software you already own. New this week is an article on how to get the most out of America Online. Great idea. That's it for CNET Central this week. Thanks for tuning in. and.